Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to turn this uh, gnome shell experience into something a little bit better. Let's close the browser here. So the thing that we'll be turning it into is like a more traditional experience. So you know, you'll have your panel at the bottom and you'll have a traditional menu and it's a lot nicer than say, in my opinion, than regular GNOME shell. It's all over the place, there's icons and it feels like a touch interface. So with this, it's much easier to set up and uh, it's much more user-friendly. It's kind of like Cinnamon. So let's get started. First, you need to go to extensions.gnome.org and uh, I've got the GNOME Chrome package installed on this Ubuntu installation. And uh, it's important that I have it installed, but that's not the only thing that I need. I also need the browser extension. So once you check out the article and learn how to install GNOME Chrome, you also need to learn about how to get this working. And that's just clicking the little button there. And then we have the stuff enabled. We can refresh the website and it should be detected automatically. As you can see, it's up there. And uh, we can go straight to the GNOME extension store. So from here, we need two extensions. We need Arc Menu. And Arc Menu, in my opinion, is the most customizable for menus. Click the On button, slide it over. Click the Install button, and uh, kind of just let it install. We've got the button right here, the menu button right here now. And then we can go back to Extensions and get dash to panel. It's much better than dash to dock in my opinion because this is using a fork of dash to dock and, and I just, it's just, I just don't think it's as good as, as this as this extension here to install it. Just uh, click the slide button like usual, click the install button and it should transform and already it looks nice but we need to configure it so it looks better because we've got two menu buttons. So to start off, you're gonna need to look for tweaks now, as you can see, I don't have tweaks and that's because they don't want you to have it because they want you to use the experience. And that's understandable because that's just how the desktop works. It's their distribution and they want it that way. But if you want to configure it, you'll need to install the tweaks app. So I'm going to install it on Ubuntu and that's GNOME tweak tool. And, uh, you'll need to check the description for instructions on how to get this on your distribution. But, uh, it's just GNOME Tweak Tool, it's probably going to be called that. And then you can go into the menu here, look for Tweak Tool, and uh, we need to click on Extensions and click on the button here that says Dash to Panel. So the first thing we need to modify is the panel size. Set it to 32, looks much, much better. And uh, next we can go to Behavior Disable that, disable that. Uh, we can turn off favorites entirely if we'd like. I actually would prefer that just because I just want something more traditional. After that, we can do uh, ungroup applications. This will give us a more traditional feel. If you don't like the pop-ups as well, we can disable that. Uh, we can use hotkey to activate if we like, and I don't want that, but it's possible to enable that. We can have the desktop button if you'd like that. And the show desktop button is right here. Like if you've ever used Windows 7 or Windows 10, similar to that. And then we have the uh, position and style. And uh, you can modify how this looks. You can have the squares if you'd like that. You can have the dots. There's the metro bunch of different options for that, but that's only if you don't use the grouping of applications. So the next thing we need to disable are the animation switching. And the reason I say that is because it will make things run much faster. It's not a required thing, but uh, if you want something that runs a little bit better, you should definitely do that. Once you've modified all of the stuff in Dash to the panel, just click the X button and go up to Arc Menu. From here, we can disable the hot corner entirely. And uh, doing that will make it so that the hot corner doesn't accidentally pop up and, and uh, ruin our experience. From there, we can go to the menu hotkey 
and set it to left super key. And this will and completely hijack the GNOME activities button. So from now on, when I press the Windows key, instead of seeing the applications menu, I'm seeing our arc menu. Then we can go to appearance and we can go to customize icon. I like to have text by my icon so I can do icon and text. To that, I can just go here. I'm gonna add a little space to space out the uh, applications. And then we can do enable arrow or disable arrow. I prefer to have that arrow disabled. And then we can go to the icon and set it to system icon. Now, you don't have to have the text if you don't want. You do custom text. Um, system text will keep it so that it looks like this. Custom text means that you can space it out or you can change this to menu. You can change it to apps, whatever you'd like. I like menu and I like to use the custom text because it also allows me to do change the padding between the text and the menu icon, just make it a little bit more spaced out. We can also change the icon size. If you're using a 32 size panel, you could change it to 32 if you'd like. I would prefer to keep it at 24. And uh, there's also some custom behavior that you can mess with uh, in the behavior tab in the appearance if you wanna change the key binding or anything like that. But after we do that, we've got a custom looking GNOME setup and uh, it's using just a traditional menu. We've got all the applications, we've got uh, VLC we can open and you know, there's no application overview and it's a traditional setup and you don't need to install Cinnamon, you don't need to install KDE or Plasma and you can make a completely traditional experience all of your own. So uh, that is how you set that up guys. Please check the description below for more information on links and everything in my article. But for now, I'm gonna get going and I will see you in the next video.